Hi, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, install a new Joomla installation uh, using a uh, what's called a quick start package which has the template and the website all together in one. So uh, first we've logged into the uh, cPanel uh, hosting environment of our website and we'll go to the file manager and uh, I'll go to the public HTML folder and I'll create a new folder for this website. I'll go to the new folder and I'm going to upload the file from here. So I'll select the uh, file from my computer. And we'll upload it. While it's uploading, uh, I can uh, go and just create the database which we'll need for this website. So I'll go back to the, the cPanel. I'll go to the database wizard. So I'll create a new database. And I'll create a database user. And I'll insert a password. And I'll click create user. And then I'll give this user all privileges to the database. I'll click next step. And I've saved uh, this information on my computer, the, uh, the username, the database name, and the password. And then we'll simply wait for this to finish uploading. And now that it has uploaded, we're going to extract the demo installer. So uh, I click on the file, I click extract, and extract files. Then now I have to uh, visit the website uh, and go to the, the folder where I placed it. Uh, then uh, I'll select a language. For me, because I'm based in Australia, I'll change the language here to English Australia, which just helps with uh, Google location settings. I enter the name of the website. And then we we'll create the uh, user account details. So I'll enter, enter my email address and the password I want for this website. Uh, I can choose whether the site should be offline or online, meaning there will be a maintenance message on the website. Uh, and uh, I prefer it to be set to offline and then I can just log in with my password and view and edit until it is time for it to go live. You can enter a description and that will be the default uh, meta description for each page. Now we're going to enter the, uh, the database details. For most providers, just leave the database type as it is and leave the host name as localhost unless you have been provided with something different. And uh, let's click next. Now, uh, for this particular demo installer, uh, I want the default data installed, which will just really help to set up uh, and to know how the website's going to work. Uh, in some cases, if you're advanced, you would just put none, but I would put the, the default installation. And then I'll click install. Finally, uh, we'll click to remove the installation folder. And once this is done, we can access the website and begin to work on the website. So here's the website we've just installed, uh, and we can log into the admin area and begin to edit the website. 